Hello everyone. So welcome back to our channel that is AI Next Generation. So this particular we are just developing one new series that's related to the convolution neural network. We are going to see what do we what do you mean by CNN? What are different architecture of the CNN? What process you are just using in the CNN that will be the convolution operation, ReLU activation function, max pooling, different type of pooling layers and how we are just using the regularization technique in the CNN. So yeah, there are a variety of things you are going to see in this whole series. The first particular video belongs to the why we are not using images, why we are using images for only the CNN model. So why we already have the ANN model, why we are not going for the ANN model for image classification. Even they are just doing the image classification but why we are not going for the large amount of data set so this particular video we are going to see the introduction part why for the images why we are only using in CNN model for this particular images whenever we have ANN models so how it make difference from the ANN models whenever you are just jumping to the CNN for the images clear so now we are just going to be the first thing is that whenever you have a small amount of data set suppose you have the image size as 50 cross 50 so this all thing i have explained in the python series if you have not go and watch particular python series so how to make ANN model even i have just take a real world example that is a covid 19 chest x-ray detection so it was re, uh, nearly about three classes we have used and also i have just developed the ANN net model for that okay so i will just give you the link in the description of this video so you can just go and watch first that particular how to build the ann models then we can just come to the cnn so this particular about the we, we are just focusing about the first of all cnn and why we are going to use cnn model only for the images why we don't use the ann model okay so first of all whenever you have image size suppose if you have image size as 50 cross 50 yeah and if and what the pixel total pixel will be like 2500 2500 total pixel will be there yeah. so now you can just develop a ann model for this particular small image you have only 50 cross 50 size or if it is a colorful image then you are using as a three channel that is a rgb and if you have a grayscale image or black and white image then that particular image has the one channel that is a uh, one you can just write either you can have three channel either you can have one channel okay so that depends upon whether your image is a colorful image or whether your image is a grayscale image clear so the first of all here whenever why we are using ann whenever you have a small amount of data set you can just go directly with the ann model you can use 50 cross 50 size dimension of this particular image and you can build number of neurons in the input layer you have suppose here you have 2500 pixel means 2500 neurons you will be there in the input layer then after you are just performing various type of hidden layer you are just putting uh, two hidden layer and in these two hidden layer you are just putting 512 neurons and then uh, second hidden, hidden layer you are just putting 256 neurons and then in the output layer is for particular it is a cat and dog then you are just putting two neurons in the output layer so it will work fine whenever you have a small amount of image now suppose whenever you are just building large amount of image means you are just passing 2050 to 250 into 250 size of the image so whenever you are just multiplying so you are just getting 60,000 and even if you are going to apply only the grayscale image and if you if you are using the colorful image you can just take a multiplication of three it will be approx i can just it will be approx nearly equal to two lakh so two lakh of total neuron you want to do uh, you want to just create in the input layer that will be really huge because whenever your model you will do the back propagation time at that time your model complexity will be really increased because because whenever you are just whenever during the back propagation you want to update the weights of two hundred two lakhs of total neurons so how it will be like really complex for the particular network even that is a ANN network and in that particular many neurons will enable to update their weights even the two lakhs of neurons will connect to the first hidden layer of every neuron means every if you are just defi defining 500 to 1 neurons in the first hidden layer then every neuron of the hidden layer it will just connect to the two lakhs of total neurons so that means you are just increasing the complexity of their model means you can use the ANN but it will not give you good accuracy as what CNN do so why we are going for the CNN 
this is the main one one of the main reason why we are going to cnn because it's uh, whenever you are just dealing with huge amount of new uh, uh, that is the neurons it is unable to update the weights of that during the back propagation time and which gi which didn't give you the good accuracy what you expect from that okay so this was whenever you have a small amount of images or small amount of data you can just go for the enn but whenever you are using for the large amount of data like large pixel size like 250 cross 250 and you are just putting into enn model that will give you are just increasing the complexity of this particular ann model means you are just providing too many learnable parameter that is a 2 lakh parameter and you can see if every neuron is connected to the 2 lakhs of parameter the model complexity you are already increasing too much okay so that is the demerit means during the back propagation whenever gradient descent will able to update the widths it is unable to update the width because it is really they have to find 2 lakhs derivative of that and then after you are, they will just multiply with every neurons and they will find the derivative of that and then they, they will update this with the help of formula you already know if you have just gone through the previous video of deep learning w new equal to w old minus learning rate into gradient clear so this was the demerit about the ANN. now i will just give you the short introduction part of the why cnn is so cnn basically means whenever you are just dealing with the images so you want to extract only this particular if you are just going for the cat and dog classification so whenever you are just providing this particular images then it will just reduce the size of this image and it will increase the depth of this particular image so whenever you are just providing 2 lakhs approx number of neurons in the input layer after using CNN it will be approx 28,000 or 27,000 and all the parameter will be the most important feature because here you are just finding the pixel that is a background pixel that in the background pixel somewhere it will be like you can just add detection filter or somewhere type of this you don't need because whenever you are just looking at the image in the edges form so they are the useless pixel you don't want to take this pixel you want to take only the cat portion of the tag you can just do with the help of cnn means you are just say, removing all the useless pixel from your images and you are just providing the most important pixel to that particular ENN so on the basic of that it you are able to predict the or classify whether it is a cat and whether it is a dog we will see this all thing in the much detail but I am just giving you overview of that and also I am just giving the short introduction because till now I have not gone for the CNN part if you all I know that you have just covered about ENN in the previous video so the first thing I can just give you the small how we are just using the ENN how it is different from the CNN so ENN you already know it is used for the fully connected layer but whenever you're going for the CNN part, so in the CNN, what you're going to take, you are just take, taking the image and you are just reducing the dimension of the image. Means from that particular image, you want to only provide that particular feature, which is the most important feature, on uh, which is able to classify whether the particular is a, suppose it is a, I'm just going for the cat and dog. So whether it is a cat or whether it is a dog. Okay, so you can just directly use for the CNN. And even if you are just using for the small small image, that will be work fine for the ANM. But if you are using for the large image, then you have to go for this particular CNN. So CNN will be able to handle this type of things. So we will see how it is just in, in reducing the dimension of the image and how it is increasing the depth of this particular image by using the N number of filter. Okay. So in a, in a and N you already know that they are just finding the image learning learnable parameter means whenever you are just going for the forward propagation and then backward propagation so you have n number of total neurons and in for every neurons you want to be you are just providing the weights for that so they are just basically a learnable parameter okay so you are just finding the pattern in this particular a n n network but that is opposite in the cnn cnn first reduce the dimension of image and first and it extract the most important feature from that particular image then after you you are using the a n n network i know cnn till now i have not started but still i'm just giving an overview of that so whenever you are just done with the cnn then you will able to differentiate between the an and cnn is more clearly okay so whenever if i'm just giving you example of suppose if you are just providing 28 cross 28 size of the image so what was and you have total 32 that is a number of filter uh, that is a total number of you are just using batch size you can just take so this is the 30 25088 something you have just learnable parameter but similar if you are going for the cnn you will find 832 that is this will be the main difference between the 225000 and 832 but how it came so they they are using the use of the max pooling layer they are using the stride padding so they are different type of things that we are using in the cnn so this particular ann cnn we will again differentiate in the 
after completion of the CNN. So you will whenever you are done with the CNN, so you will able to understand more clearly. So the main focus is to just give the basic introduction of the ANN. Uh, uh, means that is a CNN how it is differentiated from the ANN and why we are using images data set whenever you are just dealing with the images data you are just going for this particular CNN so it was the this particular video belongs to the why we can't use for the ANN and why we are using image data for this particular CNN also one is the most important things is that whenever there is a non -trans translation in, in invariant okay so it it, it is means that whenever you're just providing the images and if you're just uh, in the ANA network okay suppose in the lemon time i can just say so whenever you're just providing the images in the network that is ANA network so during the forward propagation if you're just providing the uh, that without rotate rotating the one image okay so you that will be the and uh, they will find the pattern in this particular image and they will on the basic of that pattern they will able to classify but if you will rotate that image again pass to that network then the weights will for the rotate image and for the uh, without rotation of that particular image will be the different because the rotation image the weights or the pattern will be different in the ANA network and the whenever you are just providing the same size that is the for during the forward progression you're just providing the image without rotating that particular image so weight will be for that will be the different okay so that is the non-transition inv invariant okay so this particular means whenever you are just rotating any images okay so the weights will be the different after every what rotation you have just done so ANN network is only finding the pattern in that particular image but whenever you are just dealing with the CNN there is this translation invariant means once the once your CNN is able to recognize what is there in the email suppose you are just providing a dog image to a cnn network okay so whenever during the forward progression you are just providing the dog image so on the basic of that particular they are in the cnn they are using number of filter on the basic of that they are able to find the pattern in that particular cnn but even if you are just providing the invariant or that is if you are just providing the rotation of that particular image that is a 90 degree going to say and even you are just uh, doing the forward progression it the weights will be the same what weight what is the previous because there will be no effect once the cna network is able to recognize what there in this particular image if in if you are rotating that particular image also it will just give their weights will be the similar so that is the main difference between the translation invariant and not translation invariant okay so this was about the smaller introduction about the ANN and CNN. I hope so you have just cleared with this. So in the next video, we are going to more depth about the what the convolution layer and how the pixel they are just representing. And there are n number of types of convolution operation we are just performing. Okay. So that's all for the, this video. So we are going to see again the next video. We are going to see the convolution operation. That is the how C conv CNN used the five types of different type of uh, uh, things to become whenever you're just providing the images they are using five different type of technique so after that they will able to classify whether the particular image consists of a cat and dog i'm just giving example so this all thing we are going to see in the next video that's all for this video thank you